the Primal Lions Football Review with Coach J.D. Wallace. Brought to you by Stivers, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep of Prattville. Trustmark Bank, CBE, and Durban Auto Park. Good evening, Lion Nation, and welcome into the Private Lions Football Review. I'm Will Barrett, along with Coach J.B. Wallace, as always, looking back on last week's last week's game against Do the Dothan Wolves on Thursday Night Lights at Stanley Jensen. And, Coach, uh, just a crazy game Thursday. Crazy game from the beginning, uh, even when the game was changed to Thursday. You know, mm -hmm. we had to make a decision uh, because of some uh, chances of inclement weather on Friday. Um, so we had to make some adjustments. We kicked the game off a day earlier, which, you know, I think we were prepared for mm -hmm. um, at that time. Um, you know, uh, playing against that style of offense, I knew that um, the possessions our offense would get would be limited. Mm -hmm. So that's why we opted to take the ball first on the kickoff so we know we had that possession and maybe we could flip one down the road. And, and I'll say uh, defensively, uh, we did a real good job of getting them off the field. Um, the game plan was to get them in second and long situations um, so we can dictate what they do on third down. And Coach Lee and the staff did a great job of getting them to second and long uh, situations, you know, winning first down, that was the key all week defensively, and they done that. Um, offensively, we wanted to capitalize on opportunities we can get them inside the red zone. Um, maybe create some expo explosive plays, you know, mm -hmm. big plays, which we did with Calvin Parker on the fast screen, and, and he took it 44 yards. Um, that was a huge play um, that got us in position. Um, I think we didn't come away with the uh, field goal. Um, that time, but those are opportunities in the red zone that we got to get better offensively. As far as managing the game, I think offensively we did well managing the game throughout. Um, you know, doing the things necessary to take the lead and hold on to the lead. You know, just got to finish strong, capitalize in the red right. zone. Right. Well, the Lions fought hard Thursday night, come up just short to the Dothan Wolves, 14 to 10. Let's take a look at some of those in game highlights. We got a bunch of everybody up in the middle here and Carter Davis is going to give it to Blackman again. He is smacked in the backfield. It's going to be about a three or four yard loss. So Montgomery on for the for the field goal here. This will be a 38 yard attempt from the hash mark right on the 28 yard line. Wildman with the snap, Richardson with the hold, and Reed Montgomery with the kick. This one looks better, and it is true. It's good. 3.33 a play in the opening quarter. Your score, travel three, Wolves zero. We'll and here is Davis. Whirlybird wants to throw it, and he's under some pressure, and he is going down at the 40-yard line. A four-yard loss on the play. Good for me. He does. Third and 19, low snap to start the third quarter for the Wolves. Second quarter on third down, and he is going to be sacked again as Davis. He is brought down at the 25-yard line. Tice Cotry and company. Take it down at nine. Davis from the shotgun again. He's going to give it up to his to his man Corbett, and Corbett is cut down behind the line of scrimmage back at the 20, 31-yard line. A six-yard loss on probably they've got on their mind. As Turner Walker gets this one away, and it's going to take another nice roll here inside the 10-yard line. Oh, yeah. Down well. to the five, and we down it. See, I told you that was a better decision. Davis from the shotgun for the Wolves. Drops back to pass. Under some pressure, and he spins out of a tackle. Still on his feet, spins out of two tackles, but can't spin out the fourth, fifth, or sixth tackle. He's down around the 47-yard line. Number Even with the lights and a towering, spiraling punt, but it's returnable by Shanks at the 30-yard line. Shanks cuts it back out to the long side of the field, 40. Shanks has got a line at the 50. Shanks, 40, on his feet at the 30, cuts it back inside, and he's down at the 23-yard line. What? Router from the shotgun. Hands it to Parks. Parks following his blockers. He's in the open field, 15, 10. Parks inside the five. First and goal, Lion. Evan, that is uh, um, Taggart. Lines go fast, first and goal from the seven. Here's Parks again, cutting it to the outside. He's inside the five, dives to the pylon, and he is in. The touchdown, Prattville. Put your hands up, Stripes. Davis in the shotgun once again sends a man in motion. Now looking downfield and firing it. Intercepted, intercepted by Zay Paris. Zay Paris on his feet at the 45 yard line, and he goes down at the 46. Has it. Rigdon wants to pass. Rigdon throws. He's got a man down there, and it is wow. caught at the 25-yard line. Rigdon put it on a dot. <laughs> Number 15, KJ Blue on the catch. See, it's like Blackman from the shotgun. Gives it up to number five. He is belted in the backfield. And I mean belted with Deldrick on the, on the stop. Forgetting Marion Bowen, Aeropest Patrol. Just a lot of 
great people. Oh, Third we go. 10. Got this it. ball's intercepted. This ball's intercepted by number 17, Carmelo Jones. He intercepts it at 13. <laughs> Second and 10 for the Lions from just inside the 30. And here's Parks again, this time open field, room to run. Wow. He's inside the 20, wow. still on his feet, spinning off tacklers. He's down to the 15 yard line. What a run by Parks. First and 10, Dothan Wolves from the 50. And here's a sack coming from Tice Cotter. He rips down Davis. This one's going to go to Shanks at the five yard line. Shanks reverses field 15 20, yeah, 25 go. 30. 35 40. He's got a little lane, cuts it back inside. He's still on his feet out to the 50 yard line. Router has it, looks to pass. It's a screen pass, complete to Shanks. Shanks has it at the 30, cuts the edge, and he's got a first down at the 28 yard line. No. Here goes Dothan, right. fourth and four. Oh, oh Fumble the, snap, fumble oh, snap, and the lines have recovered it. <laughs> the lines recover the fumble snap with Rollinson. Coach, now it's time to give out our Buffalo Rock Pepsi player of the game. And in a game where the defense gives up seven points, I know you got to be thinking somebody along that along that line. So who do you got in mind this week? Yeah, um, and, and, man, we had several guys play a strong game Friday night. Uh, several guys stepped up um, and, and did some things defensively um, and offensively to get this player to game. But this week's Buffalo Rock Pepsi player of the game is Sam Payne, in which he had nine total tackles. Um, he got after it all night long in that type of game. Uh, they, they put him in a phone booth, and he definitely stood the challenge and, and got the job done. So this week, Pepsi, Buffalo Rock player of the game is Sam Payne. Well, congratulations, Sam. We'll be right back. Coach, now it's time for our favorite segment of the review, the going inside the Lions cage. This time we're going in with our senior defensive lineman, Wendeldrick Rawlinson. Yeah, Wendeldrick is a guy um, strictly business um, on the field. He's a great student. Um, he's definitely a definition of student athlete. He takes his academics personal. He takes football personal, his preparation personal. I mean, everything about Wendeldrick mm -hmm. um, is kind of almost military-minded the way he is. You know, he's very structured, hard-working young man. So this should be very interesting to see how this goes. Let's go inside the Lions cage with Wendeldrick Rawlinson. <laughs> My name is Wendell Rollinson. I graduate in the year of 2023, and I am the defensive end. All right, Wendell, you're the new proud owner of a food truck. What are we serving? Hamburgers. Okay. Anything special, like a special? Bacon with bacon. Bacon, okay. All right. Lettuce, tomato, whole nine, vegetable? No. Nope. Don't do the lettuce. I hear you. All right. Uh, would you see the city of Prattville, would you rather see the city of Prattville get a major league cricket franchise or have $50? $50. All right, take the money and run, he said. All right, how early is too early for Christmas decorations? October. Okay, so can you do it before Thanksgiving? No. So it's going to be after Thanksgiving too? Yeah, it's going to be after Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, how many times does it take for you to listen to a song that you love before you actually start to hate it? 23. 23, all right, that's a precise number. Why 23? Because I always, like 23 times I'll play it. And that's it? Yeah. So. Okay, well fantastic. That's a man with a system. I mean, I like it. Ladies, he might be available, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what do you do when a baby just stares at you in public, like doesn't even blink, just maintains an intense, aggressive eye contact with you with their dumb baby face? What do you do? I smile. Okay. I smile. How many days is the most you've ever gone without showering in a row? Okay. Is that an honest answer? It is. I'm kidding. <laughs> You're a WWE superstar. What's your ring name? Mr. Okay. M I S T. Okay. But do you have like a gimmick or something? Who would, be, who would be your tag team partner? It had to be my brother, Whit Rawlinson. It had to be Whit. The Rawlinson brothers. I, I like that. Yeah. Would one of you be? Would anybody be the high flyer off the top rope, or y'all keep it on the ground? We keep it on the ground. Okay. <laughs> All right, you've been in school for 12 years now. Who has been your favorite teacher and why? 
my favorite teacher. My favorite teacher would have to be Mr. Kochi. And that's just because he's a great teacher and I love history. Good deal. Uh, you can only eat one food for the rest of your life. What's it going to be? Salmon. All right. What's three things that you can't live without? Money, my car, and football. Have you got a favorite joke you can tell us? I don't tell jokes. <laughs> Are you, I mean, you're a funny guy though, aren't you? I am. You just don't use jokes? I don't use jokes. Okay. That's all right. Serious yet funny. I got it. Uh, how do you want people to remember you at Prattville High School? Hardest worker. Fantastic. Quarterback. Josh Browder. The GOAT. Tyler Catcher. Stanley Jensen. Proud. Right. Snakes. Dangerous. Game day. Always ready. Halloween. How? Halloween. Halloween. Candy corn. Thanksgiving. Turkey. Clowns. Happy. Dentist. Plenty. Horses. Maze. Hooray for Prattville. Hooray for Prattville. Someone in the stands yelling, Hooray for Prattville. One, two, three, four. Tell me who you're yelling for. Prattville, that's who. Woo! Final segment here on the Prattville Lions Football Review. And, Coach, we gotta got to shake off that last one because we got a big one coming up this Friday. Definitely have a big one coming in. we got Opelika coming into the house, and there's the tradition of Prattville versus Opelika goes way back to which is going to be a, definitely a great game. Um, Opelika is fresh off of a win um, against the uh, ranked number one team in the state. Um, so they're going to come in amped up, feeling pretty good about it. And, you know, we got to shake off the last one, and we got to get ready to play, uh, eliminate big plays defensively, which we've done great. And we got to create more offensively, which I'm sure we have a plan to do so. So it's going to be a huge atmosphere, a huge game Friday night. You need everybody out there at the jungle being loud, being proud in your cardinal and white. Kick off 7 o'clock next Friday, barred any crazy storms. <laughs> we never know. So proud love like it next Friday. Our coverage will begin at 6.15. So until then, for Coach Wallace and Mills are behind the camera, I'm Will Barrett saying good night, God bless, and go Lions. The Prattville Lions Football Review with Coach J.D. Wallace. Brought to you by Stivers Chrysler Dodge Jeep of Prattville. Trustmark Bank. CBE. And Durban Auto Parts.